Hi everyone, so you know how I've talked about Winehaven before. It's a winery in Chisaco City, Minnesota. It's been one of my favorite places since we discovered this place 20 some odd years ago. And I have always, always been drawn to their sweet wines, their honey wines. But you know what? Today, I'm gonna to be bold. I bought this a few months ago when they had an incredible sale. We're going to open it today. It's one of their most expensive bottles of wine. It's limited when you buy them. They only allow you to buy depending on how much they have in stock, either two or four at a time. I finally got one. I'm so excited to try it. So I'm so glad that you're here to join me. And let's taste this bad boy together. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys stop in and spend a few minutes of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button before you go. I'd love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today, I'm so excited because we are doing another episode of Nancy's Wine Diaries. Yeah, I love this series. So anyway, you know how I've talked about Winehaven before. It's one of our favorite wineries that we discovered over 20 years ago when we moved to Minnesota and we were just out taking a ride with the puppies and they have grown so much. But I have always been drawn to their honey wines, their sweeter wines. And um, they came up with some new brands a few years ago, but I was not into the red, the drier wine, so I never wanted to try it. And now that I'm getting into trying it, I have been wanting to try this wine, but it's $40 a bottle, and I just did not want to spend $40 a bottle. But a few months ago, they had kind of like this winter blowout sale, so it was 50% off everything in their the wine catalog. And I think when you bought, I think when you bought 10, you got like an additional 10% off, and shipping was free, so I said, you know, this is my chance. So it's a limited wine you can buy I think at the time you could only buy two right now I think it's up to four of these bottles at a time but I only bought one because I didn't know if I was going to like it but I'm so excited I'm finally going to try it today so this is the um, wine haven and it's the Nokomis wine this is from 2018 and it's a patented grape that they have so they came up with this hybrid varietal and it's exclusive to Winehaven. It's patented. And so you can't get this wine anyplace else. I'm dying to try it. But first, we're going to talk about the elephant in the room, which is my hat. I know you're probably thinking, oh, what the heck? heck? What the heck is Nancy getting into? I mean, first she had dark hair and she had ponytails and then she dried her hair and she had messy buns. And then she went to the headbands and then she went to the fascinators and now I got a hat. I know, it's crazy. But you know why? I was watching Pixie the other day. She's this adorable little thing. She's got a channel, and I'll have her link below, and she likes mine too. But she does, like, different unboxings, and she's into Disney and characters like that. And she buys these, uh, like, backpacks with a clear um, cover in the back, and then she decorates it with Disney themes and fairy lights and... Oh my gosh, she is, she's a sweetheart. She's amazing. So I hope that you check her out, show her some love. But anyway, she had on a tiara the other day. I don't have a tiara. I have never had a tiara. So I went on Amazon to find one. And oh my gosh, I was on Amazon for over an hour when I had other things that I could have been doing. And um, yeah, they had so many, I could not decide. So I said, well, you know, I'm just going to get another fascinator. And I'm like, okay, clothes haven't I worn in a while what color should I get and then this popped up and how could I resist and it's actually a fascinator as well so this great big thing right here this uh, is velcro so it velcros onto the hat but you can take it off it comes with a headband and a clip so you can turn it into a fascinator and then it's also got this little rose that clips on that you can use for a fascinator as well 
okay so that's over with yeah so that's why i'm wearing this and yeah i haven't quite figured out exactly how to wear it and keep it on my head but we're gonna go for it but anyway so getting into this wine and um and because it's a darker red wine it probably goes with like spicier foods like barbecue and steaks and beef and prime ribs and things like that but you know what i had in the refrigerator i had a pizza that i bought the other day so this is uh it's uh, got um golden barbecue honey barbecue sauce on it instead of pizza sauce and it's got chicken and bacon bits and it's so good so i figured you know that should go with it right that's what we're gonna do so anyway this is the wine from wine haven and on the back i think it's probably just going to tell us about how they came up with this wine it's got the patent number and that it's unique and it's outstanding does it tell me what the alcohol content is it probably does but i can't see it but you know what we are going to worry about it later so it, it i don't know okay that's right there I still can't read it. It's 13.9% alcohol, so a little bit stronger. It does come with a screw cap. I remember we went camping. We went to uh, Sturgis, and I had taken a couple of bottles of wine with me. And we got to the campground, and we're sitting around the fire, and some other people that were in the campground came over, and we're all sitting around the fire. So I went to get the wine, and I was, like, so mad because I forgot the corkscrew. And while I'm in the house, or in the camper, going crazy looking for a corkscrew, I come outside and say, oh, sorry, we don't have one. They, well, they had already figured out it was a screw cap. Half my bottles were gone. So pay attention next time, Nancy. But anyway, here we go. probably should have used my curator but I didn't oh it is it is dark it's like a dark kind of purpley black mm. can't wait to uh, check this out and turn that around and of course I'm still wearing this for my tennis elbow probably be a couple of weeks but that's okay kind of makes it livable and of course I alternate between some heating pads and some ice packs it is coating the glass really nice. It does have some long legs on it. So let's kind of stir this around, aerate it, get some oxygen in there. Let all the uh, fruit flavors and the aromas, the fragrances just kind of unleash, relax. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week. If you guys know some good hats for me, or if you don't want to have that you think I should have, send me the link. I don't know if I can wear a tiara, but I'm willing to give it a try for you guys. This smells different. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. I, I got like kind of like a mix of all different things. I got, I got like coffee and chocolate right off the bat. Maybe strawberries, maybe some dark cherry, maybe even plum, but a little bit of vanilla, maybe pepper. Not green pepper, but like pepper that you'd put on for spice. It's got a mix of flavors here, of scents anyway. So, gonna be bold. Let's go for it. Cheers, everyone. I'm scared because it's if I like it, it's forty dollars, and but if I like it and I want it, then I'm gonna have to pay attention for sales. So, cheers. So it is dry. And even though I can smell those fruit flavors, it doesn't have the acidity like you would think it does like most other wines that I've been trying. So it waters a little, it's got a little bit of acidity, not much, it's more on the drier side. You, it, it's velvety soft, but it doesn't linger, if that makes sense. So it's like I can kind of taste the flavors maybe in the back of my throat still, but it's not strong and permeating so to me it's it's full bodied you feel that texture you feel the velvety softness you feel the the soft tannins maybe a little more than I just did a white wine a few minutes ago but um, a little bit heavier than that but it doesn't linger but it is uh, it's got I smell more than I taste if that makes sense but maybe because I just had a white wine
maybe like oak too from being in barrels. I could taste the bourbon almost, but so it's different. It's not as sweet as you would think with all those flavors that you can smell, but it is a really, really nice wine. Um, I wouldn't think I would enjoy this more in the winter months when I just want to kind of sit and just watch a movie or read my book and just have a sipping wine. It's not something that I think I would want to sit out on the deck in the summer when it's 90 degrees, but I still have a campfire going because that's what you do. So it's not something that I'd want to sit with that, but if I was having a meal, that would be different. Burgers on the grill, you know, even though you think it's just a burger, it's like you cook anything on a grill and it's like amazing. Okay, so I can have this out on the grill in the summer as long as I'm eating. Yeah, so isn't that fun? Did I show you my pizza? Again, so it's got chicken and it's got bacon on it. And then the honey barbecue sauce. Yeah, so I'm going to enjoy having this with my wine. But you know what I'm going to enjoy more? Just getting to chit chat with you guys afterwards. So I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending a little bit of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. And um, I think because I did two videos in a row, I'm kind of, I'm kind of losing my breath. So I want to thank you guys again so much for stopping in. You guys mean the world to me, and I am so blessed. I'm so lucky to have you guys in my life. So let me know what you think about the hat. Do we see each other again? Take care. Take care. Be kind. Be safe. We'll chat again soon.